Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the infinite heat switch on your range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the range. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses, and then we can start the repair. Now that we've disconnected the power, our next step will be to pull the range far enough forward that we can remove the back panel on the back side of that console. So we'll next remove the screws that secure that panel to the back of the range. And remove the screw at the top. Be sure to support that panel as you remove the last screw. And just tilt that panel back, lift it off of the two little tabs on the inner back panel, and then we'll set that aside. Now with the back panel removed, we now have access to the infinite heat switch. So we're going to begin by removing the wires from the old switch, and just take note of the terminals that each of those wires are located on, so that it'll make it easier to rewire the new one in place. If they're on there quite snug, we can take a pair of needle nose pliers, we'll grasp just the terminal and pull them off. Now once we've removed all the wires, we can go to the front of the range again, remove the knob and take the screws out that secure that infinite switch to the console. Simply remove the knob and the two retaining screws beneath it. Slide out the old infinite heat switch and discard it. Now when installing the new one, we wanna make sure that we put it in the same position as the original. So facing the back, this would have been the top. So we'll slide it in place and then reinstall the mounting screws. Tighten them securely. Next we'll take the knob to reinstall that under the control. Make sure the detent is at the top. And now we'll go to the back of the range and reconnect the wires. We'll check each of those wire terminals, make sure there's no signs of any arcing or corrosion. And also make sure that they fit on really tight on the terminals on that control. If they don't, you'll need to crimp them with a pair of pliers. Or if they are damaged, you'll need to replace them. Now once we have all of the wires secure, we can go ahead and put the back panel on. Now when reinstalling that back panel, we want to make sure that this little cutout hooks in underneath the little flanges on the top of that bottom cover. As well, these tabs across the bottom of that are going to hook into these two tabs on the main back panel. Once you have it positioned in place, tilt it up. If you have this extended tab on the right hand side, we need to flex that and tuck it up in behind the console. And then we can reinstall the retaining screws.
And now we're ready to position the range to push back into place. We can now push the range back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.